Anyway, I'm absolutely delighted, uh, well, one, from a Xerox perspective, delighted to be a part of uh, Skills for Change in terms of our partnership that we've had over the last few years and looking at that continuing to grow and uh, uh, over the next number of years, shall we say. And in uh, some conversations I have had, one of the things that we were talking about is well, obviously, we know it's absolutely critical that we look broad and wide when we're looking at recruiting in our organizations. And one of the key areas that we need to look is for all of the new immigrants or the new Canadians or new people coming to Canada. Staffing um, perspective, our process probably similar to very many, or certainly most of it. Our sourcing, you know, where can we source from? We use search firms, obviously. We use agencies, a number of them. We do a lot through employee referrals, um, uh, internal transfers, campus recruiting. So a lot of the same uh, ways that we all recruit in terms of looking for talent. In terms of the battle for brain power, I think you probably all experienced this. Anybody who's hiring realized there's a battle out there to get uh, individuals. So what I wanted to talk to is just a little bit about why agencies can help all of us uh, in this area. Uh, I think Michael was going to talk a little more to this piece, so I just had a couple of bullets, but maybe I'll broaden it a little bit. But we all know our labor, labor force is shrinking. We know that our, uh, the increase in the labor force is coming from new immigrants. Our birth rate is not as great as it was in the past. Uh, and organizations, whether we're for-profit, not-for-profit, whatever we happen to be, uh, we want to need to tap into a greater source of talent out there. Also from, and I'll say from a Xerox perspective, and I'm sure it's the same for many, but we're dealing with globally diverse customers. So our customers are changing just like our demographics in Canada are changing. And that's one thing I found a little on the aside that from our sales force is like, now I'm struggling. A lot of my customers, a lot of my decision makers are from China or India or the Middle East or I don't understand their culture. Like, help. So that's also part of my job. So realizing that we're dealing with globally diverse customers, we also need globally diverse employees. Uh, obviously, we want to better reflect the communities we work in and we live in. And agencies, such as Skills for Change, have more social and community connections than organizations do. So that's why they have uh, bring so much value to places such as Xerox. Uh, how they help areas in terms of pre-screening. Like making sure you get qualified candidates. I mean, a lot of the uh, expertise in the agencies can help with that. Things like language skills. Anybody new coming to the country that don't have English as their first language needs support in terms of that. And again, in area agencies help us. Also in terms of the uh, sourcing piece, um, as I say, we all source from various areas, but again, when we link, link into the agencies and they have things like job posting services, as some of them do, uh, we often, from a Xerox perspective, do partner with agencies in terms of career fairs and so on. Uh, for example, we did partner with Skills for Change a few months back uh, at U of T and got some great candidates. Some of the challenges, obviously, is from an internal perspective, how do we get our managers up to speed in terms of understanding cross-cultural differences? Uh, from working with their employees, from interviewing um, candidates from other um, cultures or cultures different than their own, for example. So we uh, agencies help us there in terms of sharing knowledge with us to help us put together workshops to help uh, train our managers and so on. No matter how big the pool is or the candidate pool that you're looking for for employees, you still need the best one. You need the brightest, you need the and best. And you really have to look at all the potential talent to find the best one for you. And again, one way to help fill that pipeline or your funnel or however you want to refer to it is through the service, uh, through using the services of immigrant agencies. Uh, one thing we're working on now to, to help reach out a little more, and this is kind of draft mode and a couple of screenshots from our website, is we're looking at how can we ensure if somebody is currently living in uh, Qatar, for example, and want to move to Canada, and they're looking at, well, what organizations are there, uh, what type of jobs may be there. So we have added a little piece. It's it's kind of out there, but still being built. I can't find this mouth here. We. So in terms of our career section, we do have a piece on diversity and inclusion, and also a little section on, you know, welcome to Canada, welcome to Xerox. And here's an area as well that, you know, we try put hypertext links in to help any newcomer look in terms of, well, where do I go, where do I start, uh, those types of things with um, um, 
uh, outside of Xerox, obviously, but within Canada, and also give them some links in terms of different organizations that can help them and the types of services that they offer. Thank you very much. Thank you, Susan, very much for that perspective. It's really great to actually, these are the kind of things that we've been uh, saying to employers, not so much now, because it really isn't something that we have to sell, um, but early on, we've been around for 25 years, so let me tell you, 25 years ago, the kind of conversations we were having with employees was very different, and some of, the, some of what you've presented are the kind of things that we used to be saying to employers, so it's really, uh, quite a sense of satisfaction to have an employer up here talking about the merits of working with organizations such as Skills for Change. So please uh, join me in thanking Susan Rogers.